the same. Christian, Ligniere, then Ragano, and Lubret. C-U-I-G-Y, Ligniere. Brissale, laughing not drunk as yet? Lignire, aside to Christian I may introduce you? Christian nods in ascent Baron de Nouvellet. Bose. The audience, applauding as the first luster is lighted and drawn up a. Ah. C-U-I-G-Y, to Brissale, looking at Christian tis a pretty fellow. First Marquis, who has overheard Pooh. Lignire, introducing them to Christian my lord Stiquigi. De Brissale. Christian, bowing delighted. First Marquis, to second he is not ill to look at, but certes, he is not costumed in the latest mode. Lignire, to Quigi this gentleman comes from Turin. Christian, yes, I have scarce been twenty days in Paris, tomorrow I join the guards and the cadets. First Marquis, watching the people who are coming into the boxes there is the wife of the Chief Justice. The buffet girl, oranges, milk. The violinists, tuning up la la. C-U-I-G-Y, to Christian, pointing to the hall, which is filling fast tis crowded. Christian, yes, indeed. First Marquis, all the great world. They recognize and name the different elegantly dressed ladies who enter the boxes, bowing low to them. The ladies send smiles in answer. Second Marquis, Madame de Gemini. C-U-I-G-Y, Madame de Boisdauphin. First Marquis, adored by us all. Brissale, Madame de Chavigny. Second Marquis, who sports with our poor hearts? Lignire, ha! So Monsieur de Cornet has come back from Rouen. The young man, to his father is the academy here? The burger, oh, I, I see several of them. There is Boudou, Boisset, and Quiro de la Chamber, Porches, Colombi, Borzies, Borden, Arbod, that all names that will live. Tis fine. First Marquis, attention. Here come our preciouses, Barthenoid, Urindant, Cassandes, Felix Erie. Second Marquis, ah. How exquisite their fancy names are. Do you know them all, Marquis? First Marquis, I, Marquis, I do, every one. Lignire, drawing Christian aside friend, I but came here to give you pleasure. The lady comes not. I will betake me again to my pet vice. Christian, persuasively no, no. You, who are ballad maker to court and city alike, can tell me better than any who the lady is for whom I die of love. Stay yet a while. The first violin, striking his bow on the desk gentleman violinists. He raises his bow. The buffet girl, macaroons, lemon drink. The violins begin to play. Christian, ah! I fear me she is coquettish, and over nice and fastidious. I, who am so poor of wit, how dare I speak to her, how address her? This language that they speak today, I, and write, confounds me. I am but an honest soldier, and timid withal. She has ever her place, there, on the right, the empty box, see you. Lignire, making as if to go I must go. Christian, detaining him nay, stay. Lignire, I cannot. Dassasi waits me at the tavern, and here one dies of thirst. The buffet girl, passing before him with a tray orange drink? Lignire, ugh. 
the buffet girl, milk? Lignire, pa. The buffet girl, rye salt? Lignire, stay. To Christian I will remain a while. Let me taste this rye salt. He sits by the buffet, the girl pours some out for him. Cries, from all the audience, at the entrance of a plump little man, joyously excited ah. Ragano. Lignire, to Christian tis the famous tavern keeper Ragano. Ragano, dressed in the Sunday clothes of a pastry cook, going up quickly to Lignire sir, have you seen Monsieur de Sereno? Lignire, introducing him to Christian the pastry cook of the actors and the poets. Ragano, overcome you do me too great honor. Lignire, nay, hold your peace, Messinus that you are. Ragano, true, these gentlemen employ me. Lignire, on credit. He is himself a poet of a pretty talent. Ragano, so they tell me. Lignire, mad after poetry. Ragano, tis true that, for a little ode. Lignire, you give a tart. Ragano, oh, a tartlet. Lignire, brave fellow. He would fain fain excuse himself. And for a trial it, now, did you not give in exchange? Ragano, some little rolls. Lignire, severely they were milk rolls. And as for the theater, which you love. Ragano, oh. To distraction. Lignire, how pay you your tickets, ha, huh, with cakes? Your place, tonight, come tell me in my ear, what did it cost you? Ragano, for custards, and fifteen cream puffs. He looks around on all sides Monsieur de Sereno is not here? Tis strange. Lignire, why so? Ragano, Montfleury plays. Lignire, I, tis true that that old wine barrel is to take Fedden's part tonight, but what matter is that to Serrano? Ragano, how? Know you not? He has got a hot hate for Montfleury, and so, has forbid him strictly to show his face on the stage for one whole month. Lignire, drinking his fourth glass well? Ragano, Montfleury will play. C-U-I-G-Y, he cannot hinder that. Ragano, oh. Oh. That I have come to see. First Marquis, who is this Cyrano? C-U-I-G-Y, a fellow well skilled in all tricks of fence. Second Marquis, is he of noble birth? C-U-I-G-Y, I, noble enough. He is a cadet in the guards. Pointing to a gentleman who was going up and down the hall as if searching for someone but tis his friend Lebret, yonder, who can best tell you. He calls him Lebret. Lebret comes towards them seek you for de Bergerac? Lebret, I, I am uneasy. C-U-I-G-Y. Is it not true that he is the strangest of men? Lebret, tenderly true, that he is the choicest of earthly beings. Ragano, poet. C U I G Y, soldier. Brissale, philosopher. Lebret, musician. Lignire, and of how fantastic a presence. Ragino, Mary, t'would puzzle even our grim painter Philippe de Champagne to portray him. Methinks, whimsical, wild, comical as he is, only Jacques Callot, now dead and gone, 
had succeeded better and had made of him the maddest fighter of all his visored crew with his triple-plumed beaver and six-pointed doublet, the sword point sticking up neath his mantle like an insolent cocktail. He's prouder than all the fierce artabans of whom Gascony has ever been and will ever be the prolific alma mater. Above his toby ruff he carries a nose, ah, good my lords, what a nose is his. When one sees it one is fain to cry aloud, nay, tis too much. He plays a joke on us. Then one laughs, says he will anon take it off. But no, Monsieur de Bergerac always keeps it on. Le Bret, throwing back his head he keeps it on and cleaves in two any man who dares remark on it. Ragano, proudly his sword, tis one half of the fate's shears. First Marquis, shrugging his shoulders he will not come. Ragano, I say he will. And I wager a foul a la Ragano. The Marquis, laughing good. Murmurs of admiration in hall. Roxanne has just appeared in her box. She seats herself in front, the duenna at the back. Christian, who is paying the buffet girl, does not see her entrance. Second Marquis, with little cries of joy, ah, gentlemen. She is fearfully, terribly ravishing. First Marquis, when one looks at her one thinks of a peach smiling at a strawberry. Second Marquis, and what freshness. A man approaching her too near might chance to get a bad chill at the heart. Christian, raising his head, sees Roxanne, and catches Lignier by the arm tis she. Lignier, ah! Is it she? Christian, I, tell me quick, I am afraid. Lignier, tasting his rye salt and sips Magdalene Robin, Roxanne, so called. A subtle wit, a precious. Christian, woe is me. Lignier, free. An orphan. The cousin of Cyrano, of whom we were now speaking. At this moment an elegant nobleman, with blue ribbon across his breast, enters the box and talks with Roxanne, standing. Christian, starting who is yonder man? Lignier, who is becoming tipsy, winking at him, ha. Ha! Count de Guéche. Enamored of her. But wedded to the niece of Armand de Richelieu. Would fain marry Roxanne to a certain sorry fellow, one Monsieur de Valvert, a viscount and accommodating. She will none of that bargain, but de Guéche is powerful, and can persecute the daughter of a plain untitled gentleman. More by token, I myself have exposed this cunning plan of his to the world, in a song which a dot ho. He must rage at me. The end hit home, dot listen. He gets up staggering, and raises his glass, ready to sing. Christian, no. Good night. Lignire, where go you? Christian, to Monsieur de Valvert. Lignire, have a care. It is he who will kill you, showing him Roxanne by a look stay where you are, she is looking at you. Christian, it is true. He stands looking at her. The group of pickpockets seeing him thus, head in air and open-mouthed, draw near to him. Lignire, tis I who am going. I am athirst. And they expect me in the taverns. He goes out, reeling. Libret, who has been all round the hall, coming back to Ragano reassured no sign of Cyrano. Ragano, incredulously all the same. Libret, a hope is left to me that he has not seen the playbill. The audience, begin, begin.